welcome this is the energy vibration lay zen for the full moon for the month of april for the um zodiac energies of uh, the heart sign okay wonderful welcome and it um, i hope the build is good because i've been really 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 been not available the long for a, a while because i'm trying to figure out my um, the built and that sort of a thing now heart sign Pluto God Pluto is here okay so welcome um, I'm sorry for um, not being here and uh, for a while but yes okay let's see what is going to be affecting you the central of this full moon you earth sign it's going to be the cancer so some of you are definitely going to be having situation with the cancers we have the Taurus and especially the Taurus that is the center of the whole full moon because it this full moon could be affecting the Tauruses okay and you Tauruses are definitely going to be having some situation um, with the cancers and the rest of you also could be having situation with cancers or people who have cancers energy vibration okay what I'm looking at is that there is a lot especially for the Sun sign earth sign people the people who were born um, between the hours of um, 6 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you're having two planetary three planetary aspects which Pluto is 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 is, is come on horrific for when when Pluto comes up I'm like okay back up back up ladies and gentlemen because whenever Pluto comes up Pluto is like back up okay now what is happening is that since this Pluto is here for you sun sign people whenever the energy of pluto comes up it is it's, it's like you know it's all about reorganization real reorganization okay so pluto is definitely here for the um the sun sign people and um what is going to be transpiring and the effect that pluto is going to be having on the tauruses is that you need to embrace the opportunity to renew yourself okay so you tauruses are at the point where you need to embrace the opportunities to renew yourself so this full moon is going to be given the Taurus is that and for the Virgo it's about releasing all that no longer serve you so this April full moon for you Virgos is about releasing that which no longer serve you for the Capricorns what is going to be happening is that do not struggle against the inevitable ending so there is something that is definitely definitely going to be ending in the Sun um, Capricorns life um, and that is for the people who were born um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. there's definitely an ending that is coming up so um, don't try to push away this ending just accept this ending that is coming up now we have Neptune and I love Neptune because I am a spiritual person so whenever I you know I'm going through Neptune or that sort of a thing it's very good for the Tauruses it's about grounding your spirituality in the um, the sensual okay so it's about you Taurus going to be grounding your spirituality in the central and that is going to be extremely good as we look at the Virgos with um, Neptune, it's about precise and um, removing the veil of illusion with clarity. Okay, so it's all about for you Virgos removing the veil of illusions with clarity when Neptune comes out. Now, for the Capricorns, um, Neptune is going to help you to bring your wildest imagination down to earth and ground it. So, yeah, whatever wild imagination that you Capricorns have, and, and remember that whenever you're manifesting, it's all about yourself and manifesting something good for yourself or something good for someone else. So, you Capricorns have had this wild imagination for quite some time, and in the month of April may going into may with the full this full moon energy you're going to be able to release that imagination that you have because you're working with neptune so if you had a crazy vision of uh, starting some vision board or getting people or that sort of a thing go for it because it's going to be happening mercury mercury i love mercury because it's all about manifestation 
and this is what I'm giving is for the sun sign people the people who were born between the hours of uh, um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. now um, for the Tauruses do not overthink the situation so Mercury is coming in and the Tauruses are going to be overthinking a situation and they're saying to you hey just let it go don't overthink the situation it's gonna be okay don't worry about why is whatever is happening okay so um, you know they want you to balance out your yourself for the Virgos, the Sun sign Virgos working with Mercury. Um, Mercury is going to be given um, their give their attention to the details. Give their attention to details. So for you Virgos, whatever you're working on between the 15th of April to the 15th of May, give your undivided attention to this situation. Okay, and it is going to be good. Mercury with the Capricorns learn from mistakes. Um, learning um, from mistakes will lessen your fear so learning from your mistake from the past is going to be lessening your fear, fear in the future with whatever that is happening and transpiring so this is um, absolutely very good um, it is um, a wonderful setting for you guys so let's look at um the lunar people the moon people and see what is um transpiring and happening for the moon people now we have the energy of aries okay so for the moon people when it, whenever you are going um through a cycle because these um full moons are basically cycles that you're going through you are dealing with the aries okay so for the moon people dealing with the aries now there is a lot of situation that is going to be transpiring because for the Tauruses and these this message is for the people who were born 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. what we have here is that find the source in memories of a childhood so the Tauruses are going to be going back to childhood memories to find something find the source in the memories of childhood so you're going to be going back to your childhood to find out when was it you realize um, the source energy okay and that is going to be very good that is going to be extremely good whatever is transpiring and happening okay so that is going to be absolutely wonderful as we move forward and we're looking at um, um, some Virgos, what is going to be transpiring with a Virgos in this full moon, especially with the, the Aries here? Um, for the Virgos, listen to your intuition to find healing. So, you Virgos is going to be using this, uh, especially your moon Virgos are going to be using the spirit to listen to your own intuition to find healing to a situation, whatever that situation is that is coming up. For the Capricorns, do not ob obsess over habits and structure, okay? So don't get obsessive over habits and, and structure of the situation, organization, and that sort of a thing. Because it does really happen that some of us expect um, structures and organization and situation and that sort of a thing to be organized. But it's never, ever, ever organized. So be aware of that, okay? What I'm realizing is that there are the aspect of the planetary system on the sun side and the aspect of the people on this side. So let's um, look and see what, ex what exactly is transpired. A lot of you are going to be dealing with the Aries, which could be removed out of your life, especially you... Um, uh, uh, moon people you could be dealing with the Aries that is going you're going to be removing them out of your life okay and if we're going to be seeing where is that going to happen now there's a Pisces that is here and coming up so we're having to deal with the Pisces and the Kansas the Virgos are definitely going to be having an effect to deal with the Pisces, Kansas and the Pisces and that sort of a thing 
So be aware of this, but there is a lot of you moon people are going to be working basically with the energy of people, like removing people. So let's see who are these people, what are these situations and how are these situations are going to be helping you um, or affecting you guys because a lot of you are going to be uh, dealing with the cancers okay and the cancers are here and the cancers are centers and the cancers are here so let's see what's up now with Pluto Pluto um, there is a miracle a miracle is here um, for you guys a miracle Pluto is going to be bringing in a miracle this is a positive energy because it is the energy of the um your solar plex the yellow energy and this is going to be very good so a miracle there is going to be an inevitable miracle that is coming in so thank the universe and the miracle could be via a cancer or the miracle could be coming through um via other possibilities okay neptune what is neptune have facility so there is a lot of personal healing that is basically going on because there is three yellow energy where america is going to be happening for a lot of you guys which is good because it's, it's taking you're taking back your power basically so you sun people are going to be basically taking back your power mercury mercury brings the energy of um recovery so mercury is going to help you to recover the source to remember who the source is to remember and understand who the source of all things is and that is going to be good so the all these planetary aspect is um, bringing and recovery is an healing energy so you're going to be recovering from something some deceptive situation something um, is going to be um, you're going to be recovering some of you could be finding something that was lost um, some of you could be given the key of light whenever we get the key of light it's a powerful key that you need to use it in the right way so for the Aries, what's with the energy with the Aries? So some of you guys are going to be dealing with the Aries and there is going to be a renewal with the Aries. Okay, whatever the situation is, whatever that was transpiring between you and the Aries, there is going to be definitely a new start and a renewal to the energies of the Aries that is coming in. So um, basically, um, this is going to be wonderful what's happening with the Pisces and the earth sign people because the Pisces there is the Pisces and the cancer that is here for the earth sign people vanity so some of you earth sign people are going to be um, realizing that the Pisces are only connected with you for vanity and this is where you're going to be standing back and and think about it you know this is where you stand back and you think about it um, so um, you're going to be realizing that Pisces are only connected with you for what they can have. And that's, you know, like a little bit sad, but it's okay. Virgos, what's happening to the Virgos and how the Virgos are going to affect the other side, victimize. So the Virgos are going to be feeling very victimized. Okay. This is the green energy of uh, you Virgos feeling very victimized over something that has happened of or transpired. It is um, sad and that is the reason why a lot of you Virgos need to let go of the victimization. So there could be a Virgo that has victimized you out of something or a Virgo, you yourself is being victimized by something that has uh, terribly happened to you. What's here with the Cancers and how are they affecting the hurt sign with the Cancers? They're going to be teaching you some wisdom. So whoever are with the Cancers and that sort of a thing, you're going to be... Um, this situation is going to be teaching you about wisdom. It's going to be um, bringing back your um, inner wisdom. And this is going to be good because the Cancers are going to be helping um, you guys, especially the uh, Taurus and the Virgos, to bring back your inner wisdom. Whatever it is, you Virgos, um, feeling victimization, um, whatever it is, um, whatever the victimization, um, whatever that is, and the rejection that is coming up whatever it is let it go okay just let it go let let go this victimization okay the outcomes is an enlightenment for you earth sign this is really really wonderful it's really positive 
the energy of enlightenment comes out and this is good to find out more um you can um, um use the link below this video to go directly to the on demand site where there it was going to be a, a hour reading um for the extended of the moon reading i want to say to each and every person thank you for being here thank you for being back um, this is wonderful it is the full moon energies and namaste there is a, a completion that is also going to be happening so whatever the uh, the victimization and rejection that was there there was also some trickery that has happened this is going to be ending okay so namaste until next time